30 seconds into riding, I realized something was very wrong. It did not feel like the wheel that I thought that I had paid for. But it's so weird to have hated something so much. And then now I kind of <laughs> wish that I kind of miss it a little bit. Coming alive. Whoa. So if you've been riding electric unicycles for any amount of time, you're probably used to the same kind of mechanics and ride feeling amongst all the wheels you've owned. But if you're anything like me, and you had no idea that there's kind of a variation of different tires that can go on these unicycles, it might surprise you to know that the type of tire they use can actually change the feel and ride mechanics of your electric unicycle. Let me explain. So the 16X took a bit of a different approach than what we've seen in the past when it came to 16 inch tires. Uh, normally you have that two and a half inch width, but they went with a three inch width this time, which to me seemed pretty promising. It seemed like that was gonna alleviate the problems you have with the typical 16 inch diameter, which is getting bounced off your wheel and it not being as stable and feeling a little bit more squirrely than say like a larger 18 or 22 inch tire. Um, and so far I can tell you, it's achieving that, but the biggest downside is it feels like the 9Bot Z10. The mechanics of this thing have radically changed and it feels like you have to put so much effort in just to lean left or lean right. This is not promising. I gave it a good shot. I gave it about an hour. And after that time, I decided to order a new tire. I went online, I talked to people smarter than myself, found out that there's a basically equivalent tire size that I can throw on there that's gonna probably give me a different feel. So I went ahead and I ordered that. And well, it's probably gonna take about a week to get here. So unfortunately, I'm stuck with this annoying tire until then. Great news, the new tire has arrived. But I wanted to give you my thoughts of what it was like to ride the stock tire over the past week. All right, so here's basically the mechanics of this wheel and like the little things that were annoying me. So with this wheel, because there's a larger surface area, it wants to ride itself and be straight up and down more often than not. Whereas like a typical like two and a half inch tire that most of us are used to, you can put a little bit of pressure and it'll go in the direction you want. But with this tire, what got really kind of annoying to me is like moving at slower speeds and wanted to make some small corrections. It always felt like the tire was like pushing the opposite direction of me. Now at higher speeds, putting your body weight into it and locking your leg and making those big moves, I'm used to that. I ride an 18XL typically, so that's sort of not weird to me. Okay, so here are my tips on how to ride this wheel. Number one, when you're turning, you're gonna have to put a lot more effort into it than you're used to. When I'm going into a turn, I'm preparing to move not just like my upper part of my body, but sort of like the bulk of my body weight off to the side of the wheel. So I think some guys have described it as like moving your butt over the side. I think that's a bit much for this wheel. Like it's not as crazy as a Z10, but you should definitely move your body weight over to the side for when you're making these turns. Tip number two is also put your body weight forward into the turn. Now typically on a regular tire, I'm not leaning forward off the wheel into the turn. I mean, I'm leaning enough to make the wheel go forward, but I'm not like leaning excessively. But I think for this wheel, what you have to do is lean your body weight forward into the side in order to get that turn. Now you're gonna have to lock your leg. And that's a thing that a lot of people know about when you're making big turns on unicycles. Lock your outer leg against the side of the wheel and lean in. So you lock your leg, move your body weight to the left or right and forward over the wheel. And that's gonna give you a more aggressive, smoother, less shaky, 
deep carve on this wheel. The other thing to note is different terrain is gonna feel probably a bit more slippery to you. So on my normal tire on my 18XL, I'm very comfortable taking it off-road, going on trails in Central Park, Prospect Park, wherever. But I think that the wider width gives it a bit more room to slip and move in and out of services, which isn't really something you want. So there's a bit of like a hydroplane effect you've gotta pay attention to. It's not all the time. I'm just saying if you're going from different surfaces, you might feel this little effect. So definitely make intentional moves about your turns and that's kind of the benefit of this wheel. You can kind of carve to the right and carve to the left really easily and it feels good to sort of lean into it so that you can make more dramatic turns left and right to get around things, to make deep carves, um, and it kind of works. it out and I gotta say it's everything that I expected. This tire really reduces that gyro feel and makes it feel a lot more like the two and a half inch tire that I'm pretty used to. Okay so now that I've ridden on both tires I was not expecting to actually like both. You know I had to spend a whole week on that stock tire and I kind of grew to like it. Like I I kind of miss it a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I like the CST tire. But it's so weird to have hated something so much. And then now I kind of <laughs> wish that, well I still have it so I can swap it back on. You know, I think King Song had a stroke of genius here and I'm not sure if it was intentional or not. I'm sure it was more like price driven or something. I, I didn't think it was possible to be more excited than I was before to commute every day. Everywhere I go, I've got to ride the electric unicycle. When the wife says, pick up diapers for the kids, she knows that she can get away with making me go do it to, to the far away target, because I love to ride. But I love even more now with the 16X. And I didn't think that was possible. Like, I was pretty content with my daily ride. But King Song's created something here that's so unique. And isn't that what it's all about? Like it sort of feels like these days, everyone's in a race to have the most lights, the fastest wheel. Well, I mean, that's really just Gatway, if we're honest. Um, but it all just sort of seems one note. There's a lot of people on the internet asking for other amenities in these wheels. But generally speaking, they're all just sort of sticking to the same thing. How much faster can we make this thing go? But King Song created something here that was unexpected to me. If you love electric unicycles or are thinking about getting into them, all the other wheels that have come before from all the other companies sort of function in the same way. And if you're looking for a wheel that follows that pattern, go for it. It's totally fine. But I think the 16X does something very radically different just by a half an inch difference in the tire width. You know, I think the more the EUCs become like cars in the way that they're very diverse in their amenities, but there's a lot of overlap and you don't really know which one you should buy, I think that's a great thing for EUC riders present and for the future. So if you liked what you saw here and you maybe want to see me get a little more weird and sentimental about electric unicycles in the future, definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and share it around. My channel's new, so the more we share this, the more I can make more content just like this and hopefully the community gets something out of it. So see you guys later and keep riding.